Other Honourable Tau Hanari. Um, I'm reminded, Mr. Speaker, of my colleague Reno Tsirikatni uh, when he uh, got up uh, earlier this morning uh, and uh, linked himself to, uh, uh, to Ngāti Whātua. Um, I'm sure there is a link uh, there. It's, it's just not uh, as good as his. Um, but I can say that my children uh, have a link to Te Arawa, uh, through their mother's side. So there. <laughs> <coughs> Mr Speaker, when, I, uh, when this bill uh, and the speak notes came across my table, I, uh, I had a, a quick glance at it, as I normally do when we get uh, information from uh, the Honourable Minister. It's the first thing in my in-tray and the first thing in my out-tray. Uh, and I noticed te, toko, te tokotoru, and I thought, what, are we settling something at Ratna? Um, but, sir, um, I want to get a bit deeper than, uh, than normal. And that is, is that we have an opportunity, Mr. Speaker. And let me, let me digress first. The Crown is getting away with murder. Let, let me make that quite clear. We're getting away with quite a lot. Um, that doesn't uh, uh, set aside what we are trying to do uh, uh, collegially, and it doesn't set aside what we're doing, trying to do uh, in a partnership. <clears throat> Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Speaker, <clears throat> what we have is the opportunity, and what we have is uh, through the 40-odd uh, uh, deeds of settlement that we have signed, uh, in the term of this government, sir, and also in the Labour uh, government, in the past government, sir, is, is our own, uh, I suppose, uh, reconciliation process. Um, it's, it, it may not be as the same as others around the world, it might not be as good as others around the world. In fact, I think we do a better job than most people uh, around the world. But the thing is that, like my colleague and like my uncle Shane Jones says, <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that uh, things progress, things uh, grow up. And in his time, uh, and he was one of the many architects of the Resource Management Act, things grow and things progress. We can do now what we couldn't do even five years ago even 10 years ago and 20 years ago. And Mr Speaker, so we have the opportunity to put in place a, a new set of rules, a new regime. And who knows, in five years' time and in 10 years' time, the three entities that we're talking about today may have and, and may very well uh, grow into a more powerful, uh, better, better run uh, entities uh, than uh, than are today, sir. So I have no doubt, sir, that what we are trying to achieve here is not only for today, but essentially for tomorrow's children and the children that haven't even been born yet, sir. Uh, Mr. S uh, Speaker, I won't take too much longer, but I will, uh, I don't like to correct my colleague uh, and my uncle Shane Jones. And he did say, he did say, he mentioned uh, something about 130 odd thousand Apui. Um, it's funny that out of that 130,000, there are supposedly, and I could be uh, corrected if I am wrong, 75,000 Ngātihine. Um, and so that's, and I want to put on record now and, and, and uh, use this opportunity if you don't mind. Oh no, oh no. What is coming from Ngātihine. Uh, I can assure you, is the idea of, of their own piece of legislation. And we might laugh and we might uh, uh, think that, oh yeah, that's very big of them. Um, but it's a development on what we are doing today. It is a development on what we were doing 20 years ago. And so, you know, if, if, 
If people thought that in 1840 we sat there and, and we would never progress, then they are mistaken. They are absolutely mistaken. That if, 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 if we were not, if this country wasn't colonised, I can bet my bottom dollar that we would have progressed a hell of a lot further uh, 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 than people think we would have. We would not have. We would not have uh, stayed in the in the uh, the Stone Age, uh, so to speak, Mr. Speaker. So I'm pleased that I'm part of of a uh, uh, of uh, of a parliament that actually looks at these things and is and is and is very well equipped and skilled to look at the all of the the issues that come before us. And I'm pleased that I am the chair of a committee that I think. Uh, on the whole, uh, looks at all the issues in front of it in a bipartisan way. And we've gone from Tamaki this morning uh, through to Kahungunu and now ended up in uh, Tarawa Territory, Mr. Che uh, Mr Speaker. And I look forward to taking our select committee uh, to uh, Tarawa and listening uh, to the stories that make this settlement along with all the others that we've done, just a part of our attempt at reconciliation. Kia ora. I call Reno Chirikatani. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. Uh, e rauranga, te da māhuri noe te whare tēnā.